Assalamualaikum dear students. I am your maths teacher and this is your maths book of class 5. Now open your books. Exercise 3.2 page number 50. Now students you have exercise 3.2 page number 50. Question number 3. Sajid covered 7 by 9 part of a 18 kilometer distance by bicycle and the rest on foot. How much distance did he cover by bicycle? In this part problem, we have a total distance that is about 18 km. And Sajid covered 7 by 9 part of this 18 km by bicycle. And we can find out that how much distance did he cover by bicycle. This is a fraction form of 18 km, a fraction part of 18 km. And we can find out a number of kilometer that how much kilometer, how that that Sajid covered from this total distance. Here, students, we can first write the statements. The first statement is total distance, that is 18 kilometer. Sajid covered distance by bicycle, that is about 7 by 9 part of this 18 kilometer. Now distance covered by bicycle, we can find out distance covered by bicycle. Actually we can find out that 7 by 9 is about 18 km. Now students, we can multiply 18, multiply with 7 by 9. And as you know, in multiplication of a fraction, we can cut the two numbers in one number. That is about cross or up and down cutting. We can cut cross 18 with 9. 9 and 18 can be divided by a number that is 9. 9 ones are 9 and 9 twos are 18. Here we have 2, so we can write 2 over here, multiply 7 and denominator have we have 1, which is no need. Now we can multiply 2 with 7 and we get 14 distance covered by bicycle which is equals to 14 kilometers Sajid covered 14 kilometer of this 18 kilometer from 14 kilometer by bicycle 7 by 9 is about 14 kilometer part of 18 kilometer and Sajid covered by bicycle which is equals to 14 kilometer here students we have the second word problem that is question number four Aisha had rupees 50,000 she gave 1 by 40 part of this as zakat now Aisha gave 1 by 40 part of this 50,000 as zakat how many rupees did he, she pay for zakat now we can first find that how many much how many rupees did Aisha paid for zakat from this total and the second part of this word problem that is how many rupees were she left with her. First we can find how much rupees she did pay for zakat and second we find that how much money she, she had left. Two parts of this word problem. So we can find first that how much rupees did she pay for zakat and the second part that is how much money she has left. First we write this statement that is total money which is equals to rupees 50,000. 50,000 and rupees is a unit that is more important. Okay now students. The second statement Aisha gives zakat which is equals to 1 by 40 part. Aisha give money for zakat. Now we can find that Aisha give money for zakat. How much she give? 50,000 multiply with 1 by 40. Now 1 by 40 and 50,000 we can divide like this. You can see like this. 40 and 50,000 are division. So we can divide 50,000 with 40 and gives us 1,250. The right answer is 1,250. I shall give money for zakat which is equal to 50, 1,250. Now students, the second part of this part problem that how much money she has left. So money left with her, we don't know so we write here question mark. Easily this is a general thing that we can subtract 1250 from 50,000 and we get the answer that how much money she has left. 
we can subtract 1250 from 50,000 and this give us 48,750 so money left with her which is equals to rupees 48,750 rupees now students the third one word problem of exercise 3.2 page number 50 question number 5 that Amir had rupees 300 he bought biscuits for 2 by 5 of this amount again we have a fraction not a single number how much did he spend on biscuits so here again we can find a number a digit that how much he paid he spent on biscuits with the help of this fraction first we make statements here student number one statement is total money which is equal to rupees 300 amir bought biscuits for two by five of this amount he spent money on biscuits that we don't know so we write here question mark 300 multiplied 2 by 5 we can cross cutting so cross cutting we can divide 5 with 300 so 300 divided by 5 gives us 60 a right answer so we can cut 5 multi 5 div divided by 5 we gives us 1 and 300 divided by 5 gives us 60 60 multiply with 2 so we can multiply the both numbers and we get 120 he spent money on biscuits equals to rupees 120. Amir spent 120 rupees from this 300 for biscuits. And this is the right answer. Here students we have the last word problem of exercise 3.2 that is Kashif had rupees 90,000. He bought a plot of land for his house for 3 by 10 of this amount. Again we have a fraction. How much money did he pay for the land? Again, we can find out the money, the, a single number, a single digit with the help of this fraction and rupees 90,000. First, we make statements. Here, students, we have first statement that is rupees total money, which is equal to rupees 90,000. Second statement, Kashif bought a plot for 3 by 10 of this amount. This amount means rupees 90,000 money he pay for land or for plot that we don't know so we write here question mark 90,000 multiply 3 by 10 again we can divide 90,000 with 10 and we can divide like this 90,000 divided by 10 so we get 9,000 10 divided by 10 gives us 1 and 90,000 divided by 10 gives us 9,000 Right over 9000 multiply 3, 3 from here. We can multiply 9000 with 3, so we get 27000. So, money he pay for plot that is rupees 27000. Kashif pay rupees 27000 from 90000 to bought a plot, and this is the right answer. I hope you can understand. Thank you, students. Allah bless you.